All right, part three. This is the regulator installation. So uh, the regulator needs to go somewhere up here. Um, I wish we could, I could put it down here, but maybe it's better to go up anyways. Um, you just want to make sure it's not blocking your spark plugs. Um, later when you want to do the valve um, kind of adjustment, you don't want to block this. But also, this is your exhaust. Uh, even though it's actually being shielded, the exhaust is inside. It has a few uh, inches distance and um, no, it did not move too much. So um, when we move the whole thing a little bit, it did not move. So we actually good. Uh, actually, we moved it away from it. So we're good. So um, I'm going to put it somewhere around here. Now, um, there is a marking that comes on your instructions. So you just put this up here and make a hole. Careful, careful, careful. This is your gas tank. You do not want to drill right through that. So uh, you got to put something behind here, a metal kind of object to put it behind here, or um, make sure your drill bed is too far in so it cannot penetrate here. I'm going to go ahead and um, put a pen. And go inside so many times until there's a hole. Okay, there's a hole on both sides. All right, so I put that um, marking place on. There is a hole in there, remember? And so I'm gonna take a marker and then um, mark the thing right behind it. All right, the marker are on. You can see, it's really hard to see, but there is one right here. Right there and then one right here right there um, I'm gonna start with a little bit because I want to make sure I got a hole right in the middle I don't want to move so and I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna go with the bigger one okay I have my 332 I believe a drill bit um, I put in all the way so that if I go all the way through it will not touch look at that right there it's not gonna hit the um, gas tank okay as you can see I already put two holes one right here and then one right here so now I'm gonna uh, use the bigger drill bit and before I do that I'm gonna take something like this and put it right behind it so just in case if I go too far um, I will not hit the gas tank okay this is what came with it um, the way I'm gonna do it is this goes inside the hole the of the regulator this goes right behind it then on the other side of the bar this goes in and the nut right there so right there oh by the way it comes with four bolts um this one is a longer one i didn't use this i used the two shorter one because it will not touch um the gas tank and it will have enough um, distance for me to put the uh, what's it called the um, um, the nuts in the back so but as you can see it's already good we can put it in before we do that we have to do a little bit of plumbing in here so I will actually not do that right now all right a little correction by the way I um, use one quarter right here um, and this is enough for this uh, this bolt to go in. So anyways, um, the bolt goes in uh, through the spring right here and then the bigger washer on the other side in the back um, near the gas tank and then the nuts. In this video, I was actually saying that the regulator should go here, but I changed my mind because it was too far out and um, just um, moving the whole generator through the doors and stuff like that. It would just hit the doors on the side, not going through it or barely going through it. So I decided I'm gonna put it down here in the back. So here is the um, air filter. We still have access to the shutoff for the gasoline. I put it at an angle because um, when you uh, put this in straight in, there is something right here um, at the tank that it may be hit. So I actually had to put it at the angle. All right, and then um, 
this hose just comes from here the same place goes up here so basically I just removed this from the place I put it on I put some silicone some paint on it and then put it up here um, no, it's longer, but that's okay. I still can carry it. And um, I did move, um, I had to move this to turn left instead of right before it was right. So I turned that, you know, tighten it towards the left. And this one, I just moved it up a little bit. And then this, I turn it inward. Um, yeah, if you can have this actually the other way around, that would be probably better so that you could have it up here, but then when you um, turn it before, it will turn outward. Um, but if you have it this way around, it would actually turn, uh, turn inward this way. So it's gonna go like this. Um, it's up to you, you can do it this way. The reason I moved this up, because I didn't wanna drag it, um, and I did not want um, the holes to be um, you know, dragged um, right there on the tire when I'm moving it. So I moved it up a little bit. All right, um, as for the regulator, before we install it, we're gonna put this stuff on. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put sealer on it, um, pipe thread sealant. Um, you could use, again, um, your Teflon if you want, but I prefer this. Um, again, I worked for the gas company before, I know what to use uh, not to cause any gas leak. Um, I already put one in. This is how I do that. Um, I put the sealant on and um, I just shove it in on both sides of the elbow. Let me see if I can do it this way, hands free. All right. Got my fingers dirty. I should know better because I work for the gas company or worked for the gas company. All right. So um, let's see. This is good. Just make sure you don't have anything here. You can clean it up if you do. That little bit doesn't matter. Just don't have any chunks in there. Because what's going to happen is this is going to go inside your engine and it's going to mess it up. Unless, of course, there is a... Let me see. Is there something in there? No. I don't know. There, I don't think there's a filter in there. So... All right. Careful. one side of it is gonna go inside here now let me see this is open position um, I would put it in this way oh let me see first let me find out before I tell you the wrong thing all right um, this is the way I would put it in it's on the outside turns in this way this is open right now this is closed um, this is the whole regulator um, whether you go this way or this way and I haven't tightened it yet that's why it's so loose still um, this way that's a, that has to do with where the gas is coming from and you don't want the gas to come from the place um, your exhaust is it needs to be like the gas pipe the, the um, pipe that I showed you at the beginning um, that is kind of rubber and you don't want it to um you know melt and if you go this way obviously you have to pull this forward up upward like this so i'm gonna mount that on and i'm gonna stop um i'm gonna start telling you what to do next now how to tighten well this is a pipe wrench the pipe wrench goes only one way to open one way to close this is the big crescent wrench i think it is 12 inches 12 inches um, you can put the crescent wrench right here and the, um, and the pipe wrench around the, um, the elbow. 
Now, um, you don't want to put another pipe wrench on your regulator. The regulator is made of uh, aluminum. It gets scratched up and damaged, uh, but this is all iron, so it doesn't matter. Um, remember, again, we have only one pound, less than one pound, nine uh, water column of gas. So uh, as long as you put a lot of sealant, um, you should be good. Uh, don't make it too loose. Don't make it too tight. Later, when you connect it to the gas, you have to do a gas leak check with um, soap and water. Um, but right now I'm gonna do this this way. I'm not gonna make it uh, too tight, but um, tight enough. Okay, I think we are at part four right now because by mistake I pushed the pause button, I mean the stop button. So anyways, um, I already put one in. This is how I do that. Um, I put the sealant on and um, I just shove it in on both sides of the elbow. Let me see if I can do it this way, hands free. All right. Got my fingers dirty. I should know better because I work for the gas company or worked for the gas company. All right. So um, let's see. just make sure you don't have anything in here you can clean it up if you do that little bit doesn't matter just don't have any chunks in there because what's going to happen is this is going to go inside your engine and it's going to mess it up unless of course there is a let me see is there something in there no i don't know there i don't think there's a filter in there so all right careful one side of it is gonna go inside here now let me see this is open position um, I would put it in this way oh let me see first let me find out before I tell you the wrong thing all right um, this is the way I would put it in it's on the outside turns in this way this is open right now this is close um, this is the whole regulator um, whether you go this way or this way and I haven't tightened it yet that's why it's so loose still um, this way that's a, that has to do with where the gas is coming from and you don't want the gas to come from the place um, your exhaust is it needs to be like the gas pipe the, the um, pipe that I showed you at the beginning um, that is kind of rubber and you don't want it to um you know melt and if you go this way obviously you have to pull this forward up upward like this so i'm gonna mount that on and i'm gonna stop um i'm gonna t start telling you what to do next now how to tighten well this is a pipe wrench the pipe wrench goes only one way to open one way to close this is the big crescent wrench i think it is 12 inches 12 inches um, you can put the crescent wrench right here and the, um, and the pipe wrench around the, um, the elbow. Now, um, you don't want to put another pipe wrench on your regulator. The regulator is made of uh, aluminum. It gets scratched up and damaged, uh, but this is all iron, so it doesn't matter. Um, remember, again, we have only one pound, less than one pound, nine uh, water column of gas. So uh, as long as you put a lot of sealant, um, you should be good. Um, don't make it too loose. Don't make it too tight. Later, when you connect it to the gas, you have to do a gas leak check with um, soap and water. Um, but right now, I'm going to do this this way. I'm not going to make it uh, too tight, but um, tight enough. All right, this is done. Next, I'm going to put this on, and then we're going to clean up all this mess, the um, sealant. Okay, I use a 716 ratchet and a crescent wrench or any other kind of other wrench can, can work. Um, and I tighten these two bolts in there. Um, and uh, if you over tighten, it's gonna put a groove right here so you don't have to really go very tight. 
Um, the reason I went this way, you could have done it differently. This could be other way around, could be this way if you like. But the reason I'm going down is uh, because of here, we do have the um, exhaust. That's where the exhaust is. So the way I'm gonna have it in my home is um, from here, there's gonna be a gas pipe, a rubber pipe that's gonna go down on the ground and then go up somewhere else to the gas meter. And I'm gonna show you how it's gonna be installed in the gas meter. Um, but I don't want it to be um, like this because then is the rubber hose is gonna go this way, then it's gonna come down. It's gonna get too close to where uh, the exhaust comes out. So I prefer it goes downwards this way. You can do it whatever you want. If you decide to go um, the other way, let's say you're gonna go this way, then you're gonna turn this around and it's gonna just work out. Uh, try to do all of that before you install um, or tighten the, the um, attach the, the regulator to the generator because it could actually bend uh, the frame while you tighten everything. Um, I did use um, only a crescent wrench for this, the 12 inch, and I held everything in my hand that was good enough. And um, same thing for here, I did, uh, I did it just with the um, crescent wrench. I did not use the pipe wrench for anything. Pipe wrench, I will use it only for the elbow right here. Um, and the reason why it's showing this way is because that's gonna have to go down right here. And we're gonna go through that too. We're gonna cut the pipe and then attach it. Okay, here's the rubber hose, approximately 18 inches. I had to cut it, it was way too long. So um, you're gonna put these on first and then you're gonna um, just shove it in right here on one side and then up here and then you tighten this with a, um, what is it, 716 I believe. See, oh, you can see it probably is five sixteen. There you go, five sixteen. All right, all set. It's done right here and here. Um, could have made it a little bit shorter like maybe 17 or 16 inches. However, you don't want it to go um, from here. You don't want it to go this way. Um, this is actually helping the gas to go smoothly through and it's not being um, restricted. By the way, this is not galvanized. This is just black pipe. So I would suggest uh, to paint this with something that wouldn't rust outside. Uh, now aluminum and the brass doesn't rust, but this does. So paint everything from here, right there and to here. All right, this looks good. Um, again, even though I work for the gas company, I do not call myself professional. Um, if you're not sure what you're doing, do not do it because uh, natural gas does not just stop like everything else. You actually have to shut it off. Um, it doesn't run out. So um, be very careful. Make sure you're not too close to the gas meter when you do this. My um, gas pipe that I bought is actually, um, I think 16 feet or something. This one right here is three quarter inch. So it's, um, it's not gonna lower the pressure. That's why I got three quarter inch. I got the best seal on Amazon. Um, I looked around. Um, also, these things do not over tighten. It's just gonna go bad if you do. Um, well, guess what? Next, we're gonna go after the spark plug.